Hello, YouTube. What you're looking at was a Western Digital 400 gigabyte hard drive from about 2006. It was four years ago. It's a Western Digital Caviar SE16. Now, these drives were notorious for failure, as I found out. And you know how I found out? It started getting bad sectors like crazy. Both of them did. And uh, the other one didn't at first, but it started to. And I had two of these drives, and one of these drives went through Windows Vista, so that that probably is what killed a lot of the sectors. Anyway, you'll notice that uh, well, there's no screws in here, and I've taken a bunch of the screws out. Why did I do that? And why is there a USB cable sticking out of the side? Well, I saw a Make Magazine video uh, about it maybe a year ago at some point, where I saw some guy uh, shoehorn some USB drives into an old uh, hard drive. Well, since I had hard drive failure, I figured I would do the same thing. Let's take the top off. As you can see, I've taken out all that I could, including the, uh, the magnets, the actuator, the platters. First, I could not take out the motor, though, simply because um, the screws down inside there are just so small and I have no way to get those out. But what I've done is I've taken three flash drives, got them in here. A 4 gigabyte, a 16 gigabyte, and another 4 gigabyte. So I have 32, 38, 40 something gigabytes. There is an extra USB port here but nothing will fit in there as of yet so I have taped it up for now. I've also used a lot of PVC electrical tape to uh, block you know, electronics from being shorted out by this metal case. See, this hard drive case is made of pure metal. Very nice. And I've taken the USB drive, or USB port, and put it through the bottom, usually where the uh, power, or not power, where the SATA connection leads to. And I've put that at the bottom. Now, I actually had to cut. Let me see if I can focus on that for you. I actually had to cut part of this in order to... Uh, fit it through there, so I just taped it back up again. I might super glue it eventually, but right now that's just the way it is. Now, this cord is really short. How must we remedy that? Well, take a USB cord extender. One of these. Plug it into here. And there you go. Now you have a gigantic flash drive. One thing I've done a little differently than the Make Magazine version is that I've had uh, the USB cord coming out from under the board. So it's a little bit better than you know having to drill holes in the top. Since you can't really remove the top, it actually is a lid rather than you know one half of the thing. So I had it coming out from under the board. A flash drive array, actually. So we have my netbook here, and we will plug this in and see what happens. No. Oh look, we have the LEDs, we have... All these flash drives are working. Look. And we got three windows up on the screen here. We got a 4 gig drive, 16 gig drive with a lot of stuff on it still, wow. Uh, Chrome OS. <laughs> wow. And of course, Untitled 1, which is probably this 4 gigabyte drive right there. So, now I have a flash drive array inside of a hard drive, and I put the cover back on, and... Yep. Check it out. I've got a hard drive. I got a... Yeah, this is a solid state drive now. <laughs> this is definitely, like... The cheapest way to make an SSD. <laughs> and that I thought I'd show you, just for the fun of it. And of course, you look at the desktop. This is a Linux desktop. You get the 16 gigabyte drive here. They all mount as uh, separate drives. And there is software, I think there is also software available that lets you uh, dynamically combine them all. 
Uh, I've seen it done before in a video, but I can't remember how it's done. And one of these drives has a has U3 on it, so I want to uninstall that at some point. <clears throat> um, other than that, booyah. Totally awesome. <laughs> and uh, I've been working... I just worked on that today after uh, that hard drive failure. I decided to do something with them, have a lot of fun. And uh, there's another thing I did with the other hard drive that you'll see in, a few, in another video. So stay tuned for that, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.